Sheriff, have we learned anything new about this case since we last spoke on Friday afternoon? Uh, no, uh, this case remains active and, and uh, ongoing, and uh, right now we're just uh, getting ready for court. And, uh, you know, last night I was able to see Jamie and uh, see the smile on her face, and uh, that was pretty special. And just know that she's safe, and now we're on phase two, which is uh, making sure we have all the evidence for our district attorney's office to put a conviction on this case, uh, prosecute it to the best of their ability, and uh, do our job as part of the evidence end of it. Other than how Jamie's feeling, what can you tell us about the conversation that you were able to have with her? Um, it was just, I just thanked her. Thanked her for the will. Thanked her for keeping the hope and her will alive. It was just a, a great 10-minute interaction. She gave me a tour of her bedroom, and it was just wonderful. How have you been able to help the district attorney's office process these charges heading into this afternoon? Uh, we just prepare the evidence, um, our reports, and, and work with them on that. And so that's what our goal is this afternoon, and uh, that will come out about uh, 3.30 today. And last question, I spoke with an attorney familiar with this case, and she told me we might be seeing other d additional charges out of Douglas County. Could you speak to that at all? Yeah, it's entirely possible. I don't know what that scene looks like and how many, uh, if crimes happened up there. Uh, I just know about our crimes, which would be the two counts of intentional, first-degree intentional homicide and the one charge of kidnapping. And one last question. Do we know if... Uh, Mr. Patterson's attorney's request to have him appear in person were accepted or denied? Uh, I have not been told that. I've been told as of right now we're still doing it by video conference, um, but I have not talked to our lead judge on that, and I assume we'll do it by video conference because that's what our procedures have been in Vernon County.